Hi everyone, today I have a thrift store haul to share with you and uh, I went to two different thrift stores and this is what I found. It's all kind of craft related. Um, this is, I'm not sure if this was a sewing box or what, but I thought it was really cute and it wasn't in bad shape. So um, that's the inside. Let me see if I can see. It's got like that little pocket here. I did put some paper in the bottom of it because I thought it looked a little stained, but I just cleaned it up and I think it's kind of cute. So I got that. And then I got a bag of stuff, like random sewing stuff and crafting stuff, and this is what was in it. It was $7.97. So there are these two purse handles, so I thought I could crochet a bag. And I got all of these, um... Christmas stamps. So I probably won't really use these um, because I'm just not that big of a stamper. So guess what? I'm giving these away. So you'll have to comment down below if you would like to win them. And unfortunately, because they are big and heavy, that is going to be for US only. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, all these Christmas stamps, that is the secret giveaway of this video. And I'll throw in some other things from from this little haul as well. So um, I always find this kind of stuff, it's just um, seam binding, bias tape, that kind of stuff. So that was in the bag. And then this stamp is actually kind of cute. I want to clean it up, but um, it looks like a little kitty winking holding an envelope or something, I'm not really sure. So I'm gonna clean it up and stamp that out and see what's going on with that. Also in the bag were these little, um, I guess it's like sock darning thread, but you could probably crochet with it actually. Um, so those were in there. And some lace. So these laces do look a little dirty, so I'm going to be washing them. But there is this one here. And of course they were all tangled up and I had to untwist everything. And then there were, um, three different piles of this lace here and this one looks pretty dirty actually but it looks like this it almost looks like tatting or something like that so those will also be going in the wash with that and um, then there was some little random pieces of trim like this looks like it was removed from something that's crochet and there's this cute little lace here and this one and then this big roll I don't know why it has three pieces going but it looks like that uh, let's see um, these little free giveaway sewing kits were also in there and a little bag of buttons I haven't really looked at that yet and a fish button. Always see those in Florida. And some go green ribbon. And another little piece of lace. And there was some wedding stuff. Oh wait, before I do the wedding stuff, there was um, an empty stamp pad. So I could just put my own ink in there. And then this little, um, I don't know, it's got little wooden pieces and rope. And I think you're supposed to like paint it and do something with it. Okay, so this is all the wedding stuff that was in the bag. Um, this big piece of pearl, I'm not sure if this was what this was for, but it's on wire. Um, so there was that. And some little flowers. These look a little dirty. I'm not sure I'm gonna keep these. The rest, most of the stuff was actually still in its packaging. Um, and then there's these little flower sprays. Those I will definitely use. And these flowers. Those are pretty. Yeah. Happy about those. Um, let's see. And these flowers. There's some little sort of applique leaves, I guess they are. Let's see. Let me grab them. I think that's... Um, so they look like this. 
and some more flowers. These are like that, sort of iridescent. And this pearl spray. And there's some stamens and different um, different little pearl sprays, stuff like that. It's going to take too long to go through all of it. Um, this leaf thing, oh, there's two of those. And some more little pearl sprays. And some little ribbon roses. This is pretty. It's like a little ribbon trim little pink roses. Uh, some of these flowers. What else? Some little uh, ribbon roses. Some more stamens. Some purple lace. And then I found this <laughs> this magic automatic needle threader kit which is pretty cute. I like it just for the box and the graphics really. But it is all in here. It's new and amazing. I think I had one of these before, but not in the box. Actually, it looks like it would be more of a hassle to thread your needle this way than just doing it manually, but I like the box. And then I found a bunch of these little jello molds. These are um, just that size, so I thought this could be cute to alter, and those will be going in. Some of those will be going in the giveaway also. And then this was my find of the day. And this was $1.91. Oh, and these jello molds were $1.91. Um, this huge stack of transparency film sheets. I'm so excited about this because um, I've priced them before at Office Depot. And they're quite expensive. So um, these are really fun to use in uh, resin and for mixed media and stuff like that. So I'm pretty excited about that. And, oh, I have one more thing to show you. Let me get her down. It's kind of random, and I don't know why I bought it, but let me grab her. Okay, so I bought this really old baby doll. Here she is, and she closes her eyes when she lays down, and she's really pretty, and she's kind of dirty, and I haven't done anything with her yet. Um, and she still has, you know, her original outfit, which is kind of falling apart, and it's very delicate. So you can see and uh, the little socks are very delicate and the shoes and this was 343 I couldn't pass that up so I looked for markings on her and um, the only thing it has is on uh, the back of her head it says D wait U11 and I think I googled that and found that uh, dolls from the 1960s had that, like a big, bigger size dolls. So, um, I don't know if anyone knows anything about dolls, please let me know. I don't know if I could actually repair her outfit. It's so delicate, but, um, or her socks are falling apart. This one, this sock is falling apart, but she's so cute. She even has little undies on. Um, I don't know. I just, I couldn't let her sit in that plastic bag in the thrift store because I thought she was really cute. Even though I'm not much of a doll collector, I do have my Blythe doll, but um, she's pretty. So that is my thrift store haul, and please enter down below if you would like to win the stamps and some of these other things, and I will send them to you. Again, that's U.S. only. You must be a subscriber. If you are under 18, please get parents' permission, and I'll pick a winner in about a week or so. I'll let everyone go ahead and get their comment in. And uh, that's it. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Bye.